Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss any of my new videos that I post on my page. So I am doing the seven part series for Law of Attraction and um, I already did Law of Magnetism. Please check that video out if you have not yet already. Law of Manifestation is basically the idea that you can be anything you want to be. If you woke up and you decided that you wanted to be an artist, you can be an artist. If you had a dream since you were a child, if you kept this idea in your mind, basically you're going to manifest the next steps to getting towards that, that path. Basically, Law of Manifestation states that wherever you're putting your attention towards, that's where all the energy is going to go towards. Some people don't understand that you have to make space. You ought to make space for whatever it is that you're asking for, whatever it is that you're wanting, you're, you're seeking to manifest in your life. So for example, I manifested my apartment so I could see the, the flooring that I wanted, I could see the environment that I wanted to be in what kind of cabinets I wanted. The deeper the vision, the more feasible this item can be. I always, always thought about like what type of furniture I wanted, what type of TV I wanted, how I wanted my TV on the wall. I literally planned out everything in my apartment. And if you come to my apartment, it is the exact way I planned it in my journal. At first, it's very hard to consciously think about what it is that we want in this lifetime. What are we trying to manifest? So there's ways that will actually make it easier for you to manifest the things that you want. So law of manifestation really, really goes well with journaling. I know I mentioned journaling on like all my videos, but it's so true. I was gonna say talking about it, but that goes a lot with law of universal influence, which you guys will find out about in my next video, because I'm gonna record that right after this one. Once you're manifesting these hopes, these goals, these dreams, it's very crucial to only expose it to individuals who want the best for you. It is so important to tell people that want the best for you. I can't, I can't make it any more vivid for you, okay? I will cover that in Law of Universal Influence. Another way that I use that I found that was very, very easy for me is I use sensory visualizations. So a lot of times I spent thinking about all the five senses of the item that I'm going to obtain. So for me, I would think about my apartment and I would think about what I'm going to hear. I would think about the music I would play in the morning because I'd be by myself and I can listen to all type of music I want to because I'm the only one here. I will also think of the smell of my apartment. What type of aromas will I have in my home? I like a lot of aromatherapy. So I envision me smelling my lavender, waking up in the morning or my eucalyptus. I'm also imagine feeling like my bed and feeling all the things that are going to be in my apartment like my couch feeling my coffee table i promise to y'all like everything that i journaled and talked about it's <laughs> it's literally in my apartment so it's so important that you guys do these things you know what kind of things will you see visualize it always have it up here write it down even if you're driving somewhere that's why i say it's so important to have your journal with you wherever you go if you're traveling even typing it up on your notes app is super super helpful so with that being said, I also have to talk about social media. It's important to talk about social media because when we're manifesting these goals, when we're manifesting these dreams that we want, it is important to create an environment for that dream, those aspirations to flourish. So with that being said, social media may not help that. Okay. I say that because say if you're manifesting, I don't know, um, peace or if you're manifesting love if you're in an environment or you're looking at things that are toxic if you're looking at things that are not so good to read if you're looking at things and seeing people do things that are kind of bogging up your mind and your mindset and, and your headspace get rid of it you have to make space for things to come to you for example i manifested peace you know why i looked at my discovery page and i realized no wonder why i can't be peaceful because i have all this toxicity on my social media platform i spent a lot of time unfollowing pages i spent a lot of time trying to find peaceful outlets so now i follow a lot of like holistic pages spirituality pages positivity pages mental health pages is whatever you need to surround yourself on your apps please do so i know it's hard to feel 
filter like Twitter and Facebook. So limit time on those apps are very, very important. Instagram is a little bit easier because like I said, you can follow certain hashtags, you can follow certain pages and you'll change your whole discovery feed in like not even two or three days. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to tell a friend to tell a friend. As always, don't forget to subscribe and please be sure to comment and like my video. See y'all next time.